uh, <laughs> coming up for uh, five to seven, just gone five to seven in actual fact. Uh, now it's the city that uh, Titanic was never destined to reach, but 100 years since its sinking, New York City is building up for the 100 year anniversary with everything from auctions to first class Titanic dinners. Ross King has left LA for once, he's headed to New York for us this morning. Morning Ross, what are you doing there? I'm here for a very special reason. Uh, Brian Cox is here, that great Scottish actor. It's Scotland Week. He's going to lead the Grand Parade on Saturday. But more importantly than that, he actually launched a wonderful charity. It's called the 50p Life Change, and I'm helping out with that tomorrow night. Uh, seven neglected tropical diseases affect, believe it or not, a sixth of the world's population. And for 50p, you can save a child's life. Amazing, amazing charity. So we've got a big night tomorrow night. But we're talking about Titanic, and as you guys said, the ship never ever reached here but incredibly enough the the appetite for it is just still here two big big auctions in new york and people still desperate to get their hands on a bit of titanic history a deck chair like this would normally set new yorkers back about 50 dollars but the future owner of this item could be sitting on an investment that could be worth thousands of dollars this deck chair was on the titanic and was salvaged from the ill-fated ship it's up for auction at Bonhams in New York in one of several auction sales taking place in the US to coincide with the 100th anniversary of the disaster. The auctioneers have seen massive interest from both Americans and people around the world. But why does it capture everyone's imagination? If you look at Pearl Harbor or 9-11, these are large-scale tragedies that capture people emotionally and historically. This auction features both old and new Titanic memorabilia, from handwritten letters from survivors to a bell featured in the 1953 Titanic movie. My favorite part would have to be the launch ticket. Um, I love just thinking, I mean, it's intact, so you think of that person that didn't go, so what else did they do that day instead of going to the Titanic launch? I don't know. Um, but seeing that being the only one in the world was pretty incredible. Across town, a much larger auction will be taking place featuring over 5,000 items salvaged from the wreck. The catch is, though, you have to buy all the items together and promise to display them to the public. The reserve auction price? $189 million. There we are, 189 million. That's just, what, about 120 million of your great British pounds. Maybe Kate could actually pay for it, then have the exhibition and invite you round the house for the first time, Dan. Okay. Thank you, okay. and, and then we can become real friends. Uh, I've been to Ross's house, interestingly. Oh, right, well, I? He doesn't even live on the same case. continent. Oh. There you go. Thanks, Ross. Everyone's <laughs> friend uh, uh, stateside there, of course. Exactly. And what are you doing in New York, by the way, Ross? It, uh, they rarely let you out of L.A. normally. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm just here for a big charity event. It's Scotland Week, and Brian Cox has started a great charity here, the 50p Life Changer, and it basically helps kids. It's just unbelievable. You can save the life of a child for just 50 pence. Uh, it's an amazing charity, so I've got the big event coming up tomorrow night. So I, there may be some very dodgy pictures of me in a kilt. Lovely. You're warm. Can't wait. Looking forward to that. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks. Ross. Thanks very much Nothing indeed. Nothing that hasn't really been seen before. No. Uh, Ross is in uh, New York. What are you superstitious about, Ross? Well, being a Scot, I'm actually very superstitious in that you shouldn't wear any underwear when wearing a kilt. And so I went with that superstition tonight out here and um, it was a wrong choice. <laughs> Good luck for some, though, maybe, eh, Ross? And what are you doing there in New York? <laughs> Big fuss over a little thing. Uh, it was Scotland and Tartan Week out here. An absolutely brilliant night. I actually ended up on top of a bar. What did we have for you? We had a fashion show. We had Piper. We had Kilts Galore. We had Brian Cox as well. And uh, he launched this amazing campaign. In Britain, it's known as the 50p Life Change, uh, developing world health. It's a Scottish charity. Can you believe a sixth of the, the population of the world actually affected by seven neglected tropical diseases? And for just 50 pence, you can actually help save a child's life and give them medication uh, for a whole year. So there I was on the bar wearing my Harris Tweed kilt, 20th century kilt. Howie Nickleby actually designed this amazing kilt, especially for the charity. We had a wonderful night. We raised lots of money, but it is such a great charity. And I do urge people to get behind it. So we had a wonderful night in New York. Fantastic. The actor Brian Cox has been leading the parades in New York as the city celebrates its annual Tartan Week. 
This is the 14th year for the event, which promotes Scottish culture to the United States. Music, concerts, exhibitions and a 10k run have been held in the hope it will encourage some of those claiming Scottish roots to look at what their home country has to offer. What you get power of is, is the, the Scottish diaspora, you know, I mean really it's phenomenal, you know, there's, because there are more Scots here than there are back home and it's, it's kind of weird and of course they're passionate, they're really passionate about it.